I'm going to post this video up on the um, health vi playlist that I have on my channel because this was something I should have, uh, boy, I wish I had this in my medical uh, kit. I didn't have one of these, and it's so simple to use. It sounds bad, though. Uh, I actually had a prostate problem where I couldn't pee, and I had to go to the emergency room, and they had to put this catheter thing in. And all she need, actually, is this is the unit, this is the thing taken out of the, um, the sterile environment, but this is basically what it is. Um, you have the insertion end, the thin end, and you have the end where, you know, the pee comes out. <laughs> and what you have to do is you wash your hands, your penis, and you make sure everything's sterilely clean. This part here, this nub on the end here, this faces your nose because that causes this part on the end, which is uh, curved upward, to be going up into you, which follows the curve of your body. And this is not as bad as you think. You can use like uh, lubricating gel. Now this is a um, sterile-like type gel. It's not the ordinary stuff you get in uh, the store. But you know, if you had no choice about the matter, you know, it's not going to be that. It's that unsterile. Okay, so if you didn't have, you know, the sterile lubricating gel, you can use the kind, of regular kind too, and in a real emergency, nothing you could do about it. But, you know, by the time I waited uh, for hours in the emergency department, the um, emergency department over at the, uh, you know, the ER emergency room over to the hospital, I could have done this in like three minutes flat. It's very easy. And uh, the size of this, these come in different sizes, and it's typical, like, they use like it's a French size, they call it FR. This is 14, this is actually a thinner one. What you do is you take the 14, divide it by three, that means three and a half mils. A lot of them are like 18, that's six mils, some are 24, there's eight mils. If you're gonna use this for yourself, use the 14, it's much thinner. It sounds bad when you're inserting something, but if you use a lot of lube on it, it doesn't bother it at all, and it actually uh, the part where it goes through the prostate, if the prostate's enlarged, you know, it's, you're going to have to press it through there slowly, but it goes. And if you had a problem peeing, this, this could save your life, to tell you the truth. This thing actually only costs like a couple bucks. You, got, you can get like 10 of them for $10. But I recommend the size, it's uh, FR14 because that's three and a half mils. It's thin enough that it's not going to hurt you at all. It's not going to be hard to insert. Get the uh, correct sterile surgical lubricating jelly. And when it goes in, actually, about that's about all that's going to stay out of it. Like the whole, maybe, uh, you know, that much. The thickness of like three fingers from the end of this, where this funnel is, that's about all that's going to stick out. So it goes in a lot farther than you think. You might be thinking it's going in too far. But it's very simple takes a few minutes to do and if I had one of these in my emergency medical supplies and I would have never had to take a trip to the emergency room I never did that before in my life I've never been in a hospital in my life I take salt palmetto pretty much every day now I'm taking it three times a day I take stinging nettle root uh, there's another one I ordered I forgot what it was I take zinc I take green tea I take vitamin D uh, I mean, everything there is, and I, this is actually just like a male thing. Your prostate just keeps growing, it seems, unless the saw palmetto is probably the best thing to take. Now, I was taking that off and on. Now, I'm taking it three times a day, so maybe that'll help alleviate the problem. But if you have an emergency, and, you know, we're talking about, um, you know, supposedly the catastrophic collapse of the American, American way of life or something. I don't know about that, but you know, you want one of these simple things in your um, in your emergency bag because you never know what the hell can happen. And if you can't pee, that is a life and death thing after a period of time. If it starts going at like, you know, 12 hours, 18 hours, and I don't know how long it can go, then you're, you have a problem. Then you really have a medical serious life and death emergency. It's almost like you can't breathe. So, this thing costs, I don't know, 10 bucks for 10 of them. They're very cheap. That's what that's what they cost me. Okay, so you'd be smart to buy these and uh, keep this in your medical first aid kit. Especially, you know, I mean, if you're a male over 50 
uh, problem with me came up very unexpectedly and I take all the herbs so uh, it's very simple like I said you know this end goes in first and you see this curvature that basically follows the body so this so in other words to keep that curvature up following the body this nub on the end here that faces your nose as you insert it and you make sure this is thoroughly lubed and it goes in very easily it's not painful and all this kind of garbage I heard people exaggerate like oh it's so painful it's not I mean if you're using lubricating jelly it's not painful so but for all the time I waited in the emergency room I could have done this in three minutes flat if I had this stupid thing so just putting it out here is a simple uh, you know thing that you have should have in your emergency medical supplies and uh, these are not supposed to be reused um, they're sterile but you know I washed this out right and I put it in another separate solution of colloidal silver with the jar you know the lid closed so this actually sits in uh, you know five parts per million colloidal silver so you take it out and you dry it off with a you know a clean uh, sterile cloth uh, it's just as sterile as it came out of the package so you know if you have to reuse them that's one thing you can use that's one thing about colloidal silver that's awesome you can really sterilize the heck out of something very well so you know so again I just want to point this out this is size FR 14 that's three and a half mils that's thin enough to go in very easily and yet it's wide enough to let you know the urine out if you had a problem and like I said I take all the herbs and I had a problem so very very unexpectedly just all of a sudden like nothing never knew what the hell happened so um so just say you know good recommendation to keep in your first aid kit especially if you're male over 50.